Okay. Last night, was it last night? Yeah. Last night, <clears throat> we had two really, really, really important games happen. Uh, both game sevens, both games that were happening with top four seeds in the respective conferences. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you already saw the title. We, got, we had Dallas versus the Suns, and we had Milwaukee versus the Celtics. Now, the thing about this is, I'm going to preface this before we continue. There is a video I did for this season on my predictions of what I think is going to happen during the playoffs, or what I thought was going to happen in the playoffs. At this very moment... At least in terms of what I know, it's not too bad. I hesitate to actually suggest it now because I don't know. Okay, I'll be 100% honest. The Dallas game, I think I know what happened. I've tried my hardest for the past less than 24 hours for me to stay away from Twitter, notifications, my buddies, everything. I, I still think... I got a little spoiled on what happened with the Dallas game. But that was actually the less important of the two. The most important one was the Bucks versus the Celtics, which I'm so goddamn nervous about. And it's the one I'm going to start because technically that's the game that happened first. I'm just going to do it chronologically. Um, but yeah, I'm going to watch the highlights for both. And you're going to see my reaction to it. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know, I'm hoping... The Bucks come out and the Suns come out of their respective games. So yeah, I I think at the very least I'm gonna be wrong on one of them because of what I think happened in the other game. So that's okay. I just really need the Bucks to not lose here. We'll see what happens. You know, I mean it's it's just the game. It's just the game, right? But goddamn, do my predictions get really screwed up if the Bucks lose this? So, oh god, here we go. Jesus, I forgot it was at home for the Celtics. Damn. Start with a three. Okay. Okay. Yep. Nice. Staying on the perimeter. Damn. Oh. That was. That was so unnecessary. Giannis bodied the hell out of him. The assist. I'll say this. Tatum's been doing real well this playoff season. Like, he's been doing... He's been performing real well. So, I'm not usually a Tatum guy, but I mean, you know. Jalen's been doing great, too. Both of them are doing awesome work. I think, if anything, this is good for the Celtics because it's like... Ah, look at that. Into your, oh, and back. Oh, nice. Milwaukee's made some... Never mind. I was going to say Milwaukee made some distance, but no. Uh, came back a little bit. For the Celtics. Okay. All right. But yeah, like, to me, that's ah, playing. But to me, it's just the way I see it. I feel like this is good for the Bucks because you have to have, um, like, after all the time they've had to, like, invest into this squad. 
You want them to eventually get results, you know? That was a good three. Eight seconds left here in the quarter. Brown taking his time. Tice sets the screen. Brown drives it. Lopez stops. Oh. See the pullback? He, he faked the last minute. But yeah, no, I mean, like, usually between, like, Lakers and Celtics, the Celtics are usually... I, I, I don't want to I don't want to piss anyone off, but I, personally, I feel like if you look through it, Celtics are usually better at uh, they're smarter. They're smarter at like creating a French uh, building on their franchise, trying to build a squad out. The Lakers are more um, impactful, obviously. You know they got all the goats pretty much, but that's the influence of LA, right? <laughs> But there is a concerted effort to get the ball to the basket, which is the ability to draw Ooh. the ball. Brown does it once again. Halen Brown attacks the goal. Celtics were 5 for 22 to start the game. They've hit their last five shots. Pritchard, Harford, the dunk. Yo! <laughs> this is game seven. Don't complain. Compete. I mean, he's right. It is game seven. Bro, that is that assist was nuts. Yep. I just realized if the Bucks don't pull through on this game, then all the MVP contestants, like. It's just a matter of does he make or miss. Did, none of them made it to the conference finals. If. But I think they. I don't know. They're. Bro. Neither of them are letting up, man. That reminds me of the end of the first game. That layup looked a lot like his. Uh, his one before. Uh, Oh, nice save. Jeez. The individual defense and then the help defense from both these teams. Final minute first half, Grant Williams. Damn. They have to have someone who gives them some And yeah, Boston's got a lead. Brown making his moves. I don't like the fact that it's a home game for them. 53-40, they bro. Milwaukee's got a Oh, sorry, the third. Never mind. I was gonna say Milwaukee's got to pull through before the end of the, the end of the period, but no. is it just me or are they getting so many threes in? Like compared to Milwaukee. Oh my god. That's, yeah, that's that's an over, damn, they call it timeout too. That's over 10, 10 point difference. Hmm. And to me, it shouldn't with Tatum and Smart being the defenders. That's simple as switch and stay connected. Oh, oh my God. You just made the similar call. Bro, get out of here. Why? I want consistency. I want more Giannis, Drew Holiday, high pick and rolls because they are not stopping that at all. Dude, Giannis, yeah, I, I don't know. Bucks need to push harder, dude. Like, because, bro, the Celtics are getting gritty as hell. Which makes sense. It's a game seven at home. Like, but I mean that's the thing, like you're playing away, so you should play even grittier. But they're okay. It's just, I mean that, yeah. The point difference says for like, says it itself. Like they gotta I feel like they gotta play riskier. Damn. Okay. Ah. Thirteen, bro. If this gets the oh six, bro. Sixteen point difference. 
it up top to Grant Williams. Williams has to hoist it up. Uh, oh, that was terrible. Remember the Celtics doing this without. Oh, hey, yo. Target from half court. What the hell, Mary? Jesus. Fuck. They needed that. But still, I mean, bro, come on. Don't make this one. Don't make this one. Don't make this one. Why? Why? Bro, come on. I got predictions I was trying to. Oh. I, it, no. What the actual? Why? Bro, they're almost 20. No, it's done. It's done. Bro, you got three minutes to try and catch up by 20 points. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. All right, well. Next year, I guess. Oh, my God. <laughs> they came in so aggressive. Jesus. You know what? Congrats. Congrats to the Celtics. You know what? You guys beat the previous NBA championship. Champ fuck. I can't speak. I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm so pissed. I like that's the thing. I it's not like I'm like, oh, I, I, I like I'm a Bucks fan. Like I'm a Raptors fan. But the, I like the Bucks. And I don't hate the Celtics. It's just Man. This is why predictions suck. Like you end up just getting pissed yourself. <laughs> Uh Alright, well Let's move on to the next game. I wonder how this one turned out. I have an idea. So yeah, we had um what is it? We had the finalists. So one finalist from last season is done. Now we got these guys. So let's see how the Suns do. Let's start in three, two, one, go. Chris Paul has certainly felt the wear and tear of this series, and away we go. And the Dallas Mavericks control Zach Zarba, Tony Brothers. Contrary to popular belief, in terms of what I'm narrating here, like I want the Suns to win for my predictions, but I actually I feel like Luca. If I'm being honest, I want Luca to get to an Eastern Conference final. I just feel like it needs to happen now. Because what, he's 24? 24, 23? One of that. One of the two. Yeah, that's a crazy start. So yeah, now I feel like we're going to see the opposite. We're going to see a team playing away that's going to be pressing super hard on a game seven. And they're going to, you know... Because we're at the Suns' home game right now, so. Alright. Catching up. Ooh. Nice. That's good. The pass. Shot from deep. Ah, nice. 
Beat the shot clock there. Man, look at that pass. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Pivot. Shot. Nice. 10 points. It's a clear deficit. It's alright. Damn. Broke down that defense. It's a good pass. What does he do with it? Uh, oh. Offensive rebound. Alright. That works. That works. I mean, yeah. At least, I think the problem that with this game versus the last one is that with the last one, it was so close up until the third, and that's what bothered me. Like, with this one, it's kind of more like, all right, I get it. Uh, I'm not really going to get mad about this one. Okay. Four, three. Ah. He felt that one. <laughs> he was... So I'm going I'm to give it a second. I'm going to give it a second. Let it cook. And he was like, all right, yeah. Nice. Yep. Made it easy. I mean, he knows he's going to make it through. To be fair, it's second, though. It's second period. Like, They're keeping like a steady 20 point. Yeah. They're keeping a good like 20 point difference. Ah. Bro, they're like. They're going nuts right now. <laughs> This is crazy. Is that? Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Bro, 30 points. 30 points. This is disgusting. Yeah, there, there, and there it is. Yeah. That's a 35 right there. 35 point difference. Yeah, that's like a whole. Oh, God damn. I would not want to be a Phoenix fan right now. What is happening right now? All right. Got the bucket somehow. I smell a passing. Nope. Bro, the momentum on these guys is nuts. Three. All right. All right. All right. That's, that's. Bro, that's going to be 40. Is it going to be? That's 40. 40 point difference. They slaughtered them. Slaughtered them. Yeah, it's over, bro. That's. I don't want to hear anybody big up Booker or I like CP3. I like CP3, but I don't have any issues with Booker. I'm just like, I don't want people making the Kobe apprentice talk. None of that. No, no, no. 40 point deficit. 78, 38 right now. No, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that. He's no, he's not built the same. He's not built the same. It's whatever he's trying to do. Ain't working. He's got a bucket, though, so he did try to show me up there. 
but you are still losing. Ah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, this dude did a backflip. <laughs> he did a little roly poly. What the hell? Nice. Nice. Uh, 39 point game. Wow. And we're not even in the fourth quarter yet. But it was really the start this game by Luca. He scored the first eight. He scored the first eight in spectacular. 92, 50. Okay. Right. Well, it'd be some shit if they came back. <laughs> 40 points in under 10 minutes. It's possible. For the Warriors, not the Suns. Bro, they're almost double their points. See, I'm really curious because, like, okay, yeah, cool. They get slaughtered and everything. But, like, I mean, for a game seven, like, I don't know. I kind of want to understand why, like, because this, this is a really bad breakdown. Like, at least the Celtics and the Bucks, they had, like, a nice, nice bucket. At least the Celtics and the Bucks had like a close game up up until like when they made their breakthrough. And they broke away by the, like the end of the third. And these guys are just Bro, they still got nine minutes left. Like Dallas is gonna double their points. Yep. Alright. I mean, you can't let it. Uh, well, that was a two. I thought it was a three. Triple one. Another three. There it is. All right, maybe not double their points, but they got damn close. That's that's crazy. One twenty-one to eighty-four. Uh, maybe all right, eighty-seven. One twenty-three to eighty-seven. One twenty-three to ninety. Fifth appearance in franchise history since since 2011. Sweet. That's um. That's a that's a crazy ass deficit. That's a crazy ass deficit. They pulled it back a little bit, but still, that's that's not numbers that I thought I was going to see in a game seven. All right, so I'm gonna look through the playoffs real quick. Just um. Just, just, just to see where we stand. Okay. Okay. So, as far as what I can tell, we got Dallas versus Golden State, and then we got Miami versus Boston. Okay. Technically speaking, I'm still banking on Golden State to pull through, but. I don't know. Do I do I make any 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 predictions at this point? I mean, okay, I still got Golden State pulling through. On the Boston Miami side of things, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like it has to be a Boston. You gotta like I. Now Miami's done great, but at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, Boston has pushed 
pretty damn hard. So I'm, I'm probably going to lean towards a Boston and Golden State fi final, which is actually really good. I like that. That's not a bad picture. It's pretty close. It's just, you know, on the way there, it was a lot different than what I expected. But yeah, man, let's see what happens. If there's a game seven, I'll watch it. If not, I mean, you'll see me react to the finale. Like the final, I'm, I, I got an idea of how I'm going to do the final. I'm thinking I'm going to do every single game, but in one video. So basically, it's going to be the next day. And then it's going to have like game two or whatever. And that way I have the whole final. But like, I'm not repeating the same game over and over. Because, yeah, I just I just don't do that. Um, because it's repetitive. I don't want to have that uh, same game over and over in my uh, in my feed, like the content page. So yeah, for me, I just I think it's better to just put it all in one. So yeah, I'll probably do that at least for the finale. If the, if either game in the conference finals goes to game seven, then I'll react to it. Outside of that, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it to Golden State. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like that like button, smash that sub button, give that bell your best. You know how that goes. Next time's next vid. See you guys in the next basketball video you choose to watch on the channel or the next video you choose to watch either way. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you later. Let it, let it be known. Don't make predictions, man. Don't make predictions. You're just going to end up sad. So take care. Peace and goodbye.